Hello, hello. Good evening, friends. How are you doing? Oh my gosh, there's a lot of there's a lot of chat here. Hold on one second. Let me uh, let me scroll up here. Hey, Comic Man, is this the earliest I've ever been? I guess maybe. I was running a little bit late. Sorry, guys. There's hair stuck on my microphone. Uh, hopefully you can hear me okay and see me mostly. Okay, let's see. Hey, Richard, how's it going? Ron Moore, David. How are you folks? Mazin Power. Hi, Mazin. Cool. I think I'm Mr. Matthews. Wow, Jim. Hi, guys. There's a whole bunch of people. Disney Dame. Hi. Hey, Dean. Chris. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> wow. Hey, Sean. Is it my stunt double? <laughs> I love how plunky and European this music is. Not plucky, right? So, since I missed it, what did you think of Track and Field 2? Oh, man. That was... It's a fine game. I actually thought it was really cool. Like, it, it's a really nice... It's a really nice game. It's a nice upgrade on Track and Field, but I'm terrible at it. So, it didn't, it didn't really stick very well. Um, glad to see you're doing okay, Chris. We are overdue for hanging out and catching up soon. Um, let's see, did I miss anything else here? Finally made it to my... Hey, Heavy Waves, how are you? You know, I was going to catch your stream last night. Uh, Omega Ace said you were streaming, and then I couldn't find you, and then he said you were on Twitch. Um, so I popped over briefly, and it, look, it looks pretty cool. You're playing, playing uh, Left 4 Dead 2 Part 3, um, or Back 4 Blood, I guess. And uh, it looks neat. But I couldn't hang out for very long. It was already super late. Um... Sounds good. Excellent. Thank you. This is a new setup. So, as some of you know, uh, we've recently moved, and uh, I have a new home office, and I have a new streaming setup, and things are good. Finally got everything all set up for the most part here. I've got still got stuff, so much stuff to unpack, um, even in here, um, but the rest of the house is like a disaster. But I wanted to be able to ha have this um, in good shape. So if you can bear with me one second, let me, I need to tweet something to Cora, um, or text something to Cora. She's not going to check it on Twitter. Um, we're trying to find some, some documents that we need, and of course they're in a box someplace. Um, Sorry, bear, bear with me one second. <clears throat> okay, yeah, we need we need we need important papers that, that are in a box somewhere in this house. Um, is it upgraded from the stream cave? <laughs> so yeah, I used to stream. I mean, I used to stream from the living room and and or the basement. And I wouldn't say I don't know if this is necessarily an upgrade. And this may not be the the only place where I stream from. But I've got it set up right now. I can share a picture later on where I have my NES and N64 because I want to stream some N64 games. I have the Switch, uh, dock, and controller. I have my Mister, and I have my arcade system, the Legends uh, Gamer Pro. And I'm going to install my Wii as well. And that's mostly what I'm going to be streaming from. Um, I may still set up my AVS out in the um, basement media room. Um, and uh, there are other consoles that I might stream from in the future. So, but I think I might just, I might just. So, like, I'm streaming on my original NES here, not my original NES, but an original NES. Um, so the, the quality maybe isn't as good as, as the AVS, but I like playing. I'm playing on a CRT, which is really, which is really nice. I like it. <clears throat> hey, Adam, how are you doing? So, hopefully things will go okay. I've got a new new chair. Tim Fallon music. Actually, that's a good question, Ron. I'm not sure if it is because it is, yeah, Sean, it's, it's someone's original NES. Actually, I know whose original NES this is. It was, it's my friend Ryan Osmond's uh, original NES. He gave it to me when I helped him and his wife move out of their apartment in Astoria one year, and I saw that they had a bunch of uh, NES games, and he just gave them all to me <laughs> as a thank you for, for me helping them, helping them move. Um... It is one of the smooth top NESs, if you've ever seen one of those. It's one of the older older models. Um, what are your thoughts on the Contra Anniversary Collection? 
the uh, the old one from the Konami one. I like it. I have it. Um, I've been playing it. I play it off and on. I mean, usually if I'm playing an NES game, I'll play it on on an actual NES or the AVS. But sometimes I play on the Switch, and the Contra Anniversary Collection is quite nice. I don't own Hardcore, so car- Hardcore, so it's nice to have a copy of that to play. Um, hey, Alpha Nerd, welcome. Cool. And Jack. Hi, Jack Haberdasher. Yeah, they're pretty good. Dean. Pretty good, Dean. Yeah, I play a surprisingly surprising number of NES games on my Switch, which is not a good use of the, the system at all. But anyway, it's good to see all of you folks here tonight. Thanks for coming by. I uh, I will announce it now that uh, I'm bringing back the Battle Kid 2 streams. I almost streamed it this Monday, but I had a lot going on, and uh, I was, I've been pretty tired lately because I get up I get up super early to make breakfast for everyone and get my kid to school so um the late nights uh, streams have not been have not been uh, appealing jack says i've got some fantastic news well please share it with us i got a new job i started tuesday very friendly team tuesday was yesterday right very friendly team it's a big upgrade for me congratulations jack that is fantastic dean's message was retracted i don't know what he said adam hein woo battle kid yeah we'll see it's been about a month and a half i think since i streamed that so uh We'll see how that goes. Uh, oh, do I have good news? I have good news. So, uh, hold on. I can, I can pull this. So, as some of you folks know, I write. And uh, one of my books is uh, this thing, the fairy t- Ruby Fairy Tales of Remnant. Uh, this is actually probably the prettiest book I've ever, I've ever, um, that ever has featured my words in it. Um, super pretty. I can't take take credit for that. It was illustrated by Violet Tobac- Tobacco, and she's amazing. Um, the stories in here are some of the some of the best stuff I've written, um, I think, and especially for the Ruby universe. Uh, but these uh, some of these stories are going to be adapted into an animated series uh, by Rooster Teeth. Uh, so they produce the show Ruby R W B Y, and uh, October thirtieth. If you're a Rooster Teeth first member, you can watch. The first episode of that series is a mini anthology series, and then October 31st, I think it'll be released broader to the public, so it should be free for everyone at that point. I'm super excited. I know the stories that they're adapting. Um, really, really excited to see them. I've seen one of the specials animated, and it's amazing, and it is definitely literally a dream come true to see my work animated. So. If you're at all interested in Ruby, even if you're not, check it out. I'm super excited about it. It's it's really cool. Uh, let's see. Playing the game without no lights on. I've got one light on back here. I have I have this other light, which if I turn it on, then I'm backlit. So I decided not to not to do that. I do have the the ring light. Here. Okay, Gavin Rayburn. You want to send me one of those? That'd be great, Richard. <laughs> you know, I don't have that many extra copies anymore. I gave them all away. Um, yeah, yeah, thanks, guys. Hey, Celestial Light. How are you doing? Um, yeah, conquer the world. Maybe the world of remnants. Becoming a legit celebrity. You know, in certain circles, I guess that could be true. I went to I went to RTX, which is a Rooster Teeth convention, and... Uh, that was really cool and then i met up with some friends for for lunch and uh you know i actually made a joke about you know they were like joking about me being being a celebrity i was like yeah not really and then somebody said hi to me (laughs) because they had actually been at the convention and they just happened to be eating lunch at the same place we were which was like half an hour or an hour away from from the convention um yeah an anime series would be the coolest thing ever indeed indeed be okay living in that world, Mazin. I bet next year he will be a big celebrity and forget about us. Oh, never, Mazin. Never. Hey, DOA. DOA's got some exciting news also. Please share. Please share. Everyone share your good news. I love good news. Um, no word of hyperbole is legit my dream to get my work animated. Yeah, Richard. Totally. I, I'm with you, and I, I would love to see your work animated as well. Seal says, I'm doing all right. Just heard your work is being adapted into an anime series show. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you just heard. Breaking news. All right. I need to start this game. I did not look at the manual. Um, this is an unlicensed game from Codemasters. Um, I saw like a pretty decent review of it, actually. I, I want to say Indie Gamer Chick liked it. Um, I might be wrong about that, but it looked really cool, so I picked it up recently. Um... 
Dean says he picked up Mega Man 4 and 5 for Game Boy from Amazon. Oh, excellent. Oh, that's a good price. I hope those aren't bootlegs for that price. But even if they are, like, you can still play the games. Ah, Disney goes to Disney on Friday. Awesome. Hey, yeah, Comic Man's latest book, uh, Sherlock Sam and the Insta Noodle? Insta Noodle something? Caper? Something like that? I totally blanked on it. It's like an Instagram noodle thing. Um. Oh, yeah, T Bet. When T Belly opens his business, May of next year, I'm going to be an advertiser for him and making good money, and I'm a partner with Chewy. Very good. Congratulations, Chewy. I feel like I saw a tweet where you were tweeting to T-Belly about, about potentially working with him, and that's that's fantastic. He is uh, he's stepping back from streaming. I don't know if you've seen his, his news. He's stepping back from his channel a little bit. But I wish him the very best. He works he works really hard. Um, he's supporting his family. He's, you know... Um, been doing a, a lot in the retro community and i wish him the best of success and uh, whenever he can stream i'm looking forward to seeing him stream my good news is my cassie got a kitten named zag zag zagreus zagreus very nice hades i need to finish hades at some point hey Sklets, i'm late because i was watching the end of an episode of squid games is this about eugene becoming more famous <laughs> hey chris james Very cool. Very cool. Was my favorite Castlevania game, Dean? Uh, Castlevania 3. All right, I'm going to start the game. Sorry, guys. It's been like 15, like 10 minutes of me just talking. Kidnapped. Man, there's some pretty cool animation going on here. All right. Ultimate stuntman Dr. Evil has kidnapped Jenny Aykroyd. Aykroyd. You must chase after him and rescue the young scientist. Okay. Android 1... Techno Beast. Okay. Oh, it's a driving stage. Okay. This is kind of giving me some Vice Project Doom. Oh, hello. Vice Project Doom uh, vibes. So, just steering and firing, and I guess I can jump. Oh, I have to accelerate, I think. Oof. I'm not sure really what I'm supposed to be doing here, except just shooting things. Okay. This is really actually good looking. The um, yeah, Codemasters makes some pretty made some pretty decent uh, decent uh, NES games. Um, with really good gra oh crap. Really good graphics. Okay, we're gonna get going here. I right, gotta hit those ramps. Clearly. Oof, don't hit the don't hit those those pylons. Sorry, I'll catch up on the chat in a minute. Just want to get some gameplay. That's what we're here for. Right? Or are we? Are we here to, to play games or are we here to talk? Actually, both, I think. Well, it's been a while since I've actually really been... Oh, okay. Um, but even the last couple streams that I was doing, I was very, like, kind of out of it a little bit. Is that the end of the stage? Far out. Wow, that was it. Okay. Um, you know, it's just been getting used to the new setup and being tired all... Oh, okay, that wasn't the end. Being tired all the time. <laughs> um, I can't shoot anything anymore because I'm just blocking and uh, dodging things. So I don't, I don't think hitting those would be in my best interest. Okay, perfect. Perfect? I, I don't think that was perfect, but thanks. Stage one, two. Okay. All right. Let's pause here for a second here. Catch up on the chat. As you can see, my, comp my computer's a little bit farther away from me now, so it's harder for me to, to scroll back on these things. Um, Captain Algebra, hello, sir. Welcome. My good news is that I'm watching a celebrity right now. Oh, Mazin. Um, thank you, sir. Hey, Mega Dan. Side note, my podcast is going strong. Got onto Apple and Google Podcasts. Excellent, Richard. Very cool. I need to I need to listen to more of your podcasts. I enjoyed the one the one episode I listened to. All right, let me catch up here. I'm jamming on this this OST here to talk or play games both. <laughs> what is your favorite Castlevania, Dean? Your favorite Castlevania. Um yeah, I got a new. So I, I upgraded some stuff in my setup. I, I had a. Uh, I used to have a like a 
an, uh, an arm for the microphone. We could clamp it onto something and it was falling apart. Like last time I streamed, I think I was having problems with it. So now I have a, like a tripod with a, with a long arm on it, a microphone arm on it. So I can move it around and, and, you know, I think that's better. So, um, hey, Thumb. Like all three on NES, Dean. Yeah, I, I want to play Castlevania too. I've been meaning to play that. I don't want to get in, into the start of an, another game right now. I want to finish up some games. I haven't finished any games since basically we started moving. Um, I just haven't had time to play, and I had a lot of stuff that wasn't even plugged in. Um, but I'd like to finish a game, but I'm also like kind of under deadline for um, a couple of different projects, so I should probably really be focusing on writing more. But I'd like to fit in some, some games and maybe wrap up some games that I started already for NES Alpha and America, perhaps. I'm also, I started Phoenix Wright uh, Trials and Tribulations, um, which is the second Phoenix Wright game. That's how far my backlog is. Actually, my backlog's even worse than that, but that's when I, I started playing. Mostly because it was on the DS and um, I could have it while we were moving, but I, I just didn't have time. And when I have time at night to start playing or reading something, I would get so tired. I'd just fall asleep like right away. Can't be a Eugene stream without a deadline. Oh, Mazin, you're so right. You're so right. Every time I get past a, a deadline, I get another deadline. And that's actually not a bad thing. That's a good thing um, if you're you know trying to be a working writer. But um, it is a little bit frustrating. Is Metroid, Dro Dro yeah. is Metroid Dread calling out to anyone? I've been good and haven't gotten it yet. Yeah, I haven't I haven't picked it up yet either. It, it, probably I'll get it for Christmas. There's no hurry. I've got um, I've got Metroid Samus Returns to play yet, um, but whenever I get Dro Dread, I'll I'll play it. Trials and Tribulations. Yeah, that's something else. Comic Man. All right, let's see here. How's this going to control? So I've got a gun, and I can jump. It's a little bit floaty. That's not too bad. Oh, you can shoot an angle. Okay, you know, this is kind of... Uh, do I need to go left or right? Um, this is kind of nice. It's kind of nice graphics in a weird way. This kind of reminds me of an ocean game. Kind of getting a, a Dark Man vibe from this. Okay, I guess I need this key. Is that a stunt? Is that a stunt dummy? What's going on here? I guess I can't open this. It's just a run and gun. Oof, okay. Run and gun and get out. Okay, get her. Oh my gosh. Oh no. No, no, no. Ah. Okay. Wait a minute. If he's a stunt man, they seem to be using real bullets. Um. Are your darts going to go trick or treating on Halloween? Comic Man says Metroid Dread is so good. Yeah, I saw the Comic Man play a little bit of that, and indeed it does look good. Finished Dread last night. Wow, Jim, that was fast. Really good. A few minor annoyances, but overall solid. So you didn't break any Joy Cons. Cool. I think we're gonna. I think this bud is gonna go trick or treating. We're just not sure where or when. I don't know. If our community has like a specific trick or treating night, and we were supposed to go, I think, hang out with some friends on Halloween, so he might be trick or treating somewhere else. It doesn't mean you have projects going. I just cleared off my to do list and have to give some online school tours tomorrow. Ooh, nice. Starting up a poetry project, and sonnets are jerks. Get Halloween candy in a big bowl. Um, I also posted if you if you follow me on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram, uh, every year we post a photo of my son dressed as a different doctor from Doctor Who. We're going in chronological order. He is six at least for another week. Uh, so he is he dressed up as the sixth Doctor, and I posted the photo today. Um, I mean, I'm biased. I think it's it's pretty cute, and uh, the costume is really hard to make. So please check it out. Um, I posted it to Reddit, and it's got like 2,000 likes, which is amazing. I posted it to the Doctor Who um, board on, on Reddit. Also, speaking of Doctor Who and video games, there's like Doctor Who The Edge of Time or The Edge of Reality uh, is a new game that's coming out. It was delayed on the Switch until the end of the month, but it looks pretty pretty neat. It was a VR game, and they've, they've just adapted it and expanded it into a new uh, game for flat a new flat game. Um, and, uh, there's the Lonely Assassins, which is like a fo mobile phone game that I want to pick up. So I might be streaming some Doctor Who games soon. Oh, uh, thanks, Comic Man. Um, really good costumes. 
Yeah, it was it was a tough costume to make, especially with everything else going on here. Hey, zombie. Hey, Mike Van Helder. He's six. Yeah, he's six, but he's going to be seven next week. So we we always post the, the photos pretty late, uh, or we have been posting the photos pretty late just because we get busy. This time we took the photo really late, and I accelerated, you know, I, I, I did the, I did the um, photo processing super fast because I wanted to get it out. Remember when it happened? It was lurking while getting dinner. Cool. Eating anything anything good? Alright, so these guys are jerks and I lost my fun weapon. Wait, did I grab something over here? So it looks like they just respawn, which is annoying. I did get that key. Oh, there's is that a timer? Yeah, that's a timer. Okay. So these things are respawning. Music is actually pretty good. I'm getting, I'm really kind of enjoying this. So far, so good. I guess I need some keys. I don't know how many keys I need. Oh, okay, that, that hurt. Oh dear. That's not good. Oh man. Okay. Find out if there are any, uh, if there are any um, continues in this game. Might try a bit more Dread now. Nobody tell my boss. Is your boss Felicia? <laughs> uh, I went back to the beginning of the stream and heard the good news. Oh, thanks, uh, Skletz. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not keeping a secret, but I know you're not on social, so I, I guess you probably didn't hear about that. Pizza Night. Nice, zombie. Will we see you play Super Mario Brothers 3 on NES soon? Um, if that's a request, I could I can play that. I mean, I'll always play Super Mario Brothers 3. It's just a matter of finding like a good time to do it. Real stuntmen use actual bullets. Or he's just a really good actor and he's like that committed to his craft, um, pretending that he's dying, right? Because think of an old Simpsons bit with real acid. <laughs> oh, your actual boss. You know, I don't think I realize that you have, you work for the publisher, right? That uh, that puts out the, the Shock Sam books. What was the name of your book again? Do you want to, uh, do you want to throw a link in there? Hold on a second here. Oh. Uh... I think you've, I think you've earned this, Comic Man. All right, you're a moderator, Comic Man. Please feel free to post your link to your to your new book, middle grade book. The Sherlock Sam books are are really fun. Um, they're all set sort of set in Singapore and around the world. But um, I need to actually get some get some for the spot. I think you'll like them. Mobile game company. Okay. Cool. Well, I guess that, that's why you can't stream in the middle of the day. All right. Um, jobs are good. <laughs> steady employment. Steady employment is good. Okay. How do I... Ow. Ooh. Don't land on spikes. Okay. I can't get through here, though, so I need to... Okay. That's a problem. Uh, I've screwed that one up. Dang it. Ow. Okay. Oh, he's dead. Oh, hey, Freak of Four. Great stream last night. Oh, there's a continue. I wonder how many of those I get. Oh, that doesn't really... Okay, that didn't really help me much, though. I just gotta... I should probably just restart that, because if they're limited continues... Well, we'll find out. Um, yeah, Freak of Four last night did an R-rated Pokemon Snap stream for me. Um, which was really fun. So I think... What does that E button do? Because... Actually, I guess the A button doesn't do anything. I think I'm hitting up to accelerate. I guess the A button doesn't do anything at all. Which seems a little strange. This actually, um, the controls on this are, are a bit, let's call it loosey-goosey. But uh, overall, it's very fluid, and I really actually like the way it's, it's, it's controlled. This weapon, I think, carries over to um, the side-scrolling sections, which is interesting. And now we've got this bonus stage, right? Okay. Collect extras. Extra what? Ooh, not that. So 
a little Solomon going on here. Anyway, all my NES games are still in boxes, which is, uh, which is sad. Need to find a good place to unload them. Alright, hold on here. Hey, Chum Nasty, everything went okay today. Good. Yeah, Chum Nasty just got a new job, too. I'm, I'm really glad everyone is having, like, good luck. Or good good news, anyway. I think we recently watched an SNES drunk video on this game a couple weeks ago. <laughs> it's the full series page, in case anyone wants to start from the beginning. Yes, Epigram Bookshop. Um, Shock Sam, yep. I believe I blurbed one of them a while back. Um, not being able to say hi to everyone individually. I've just been starting to do, like, lump greetings because there's too many people. He's making fun of the spikes on the street in the side-scrolling areas and how it's a lot of blind jumps. Yeah, yeah, but, I mean, I guess you learn it as you go, right? You might get unlimited continues in this game. I am not sure. Okay, the first three books are available in North America, published by Andrews McMeal. But they haven't picked up the rest of the series yet. Oh, okay. I was wondering what the distribution thing was like. But they're in are they in they're in English in Singapore too, right? So I can import them. Modern games have spoiled us with consistent controls and he has to give a hoot about consistency. Um Yeah, thanks thanks, Figure Four. It's it I've never never seen anything like it, that's for sure. <laughs> for our hour, did Freak of Four do the exclamations for this game? <laughs> oh, they're in Enlish. That's even better than English. Um, um, not as good as Entish, but I'll take Enlish. That's close enough. Yeah, I'll have to import as many of them as I can as I can get. I think this button is gonna is gonna dig them. I guess I'll get the the American ones first, right? The, uh, the North American ones, and then maybe they'll realize that there's demand for them and they'll pick up the rest of the series. Okay, this is this is terrible. Okay. Have to remember where everything is. Uh, so he's just gonna keep spawning. Oh, okay. I need to stay up here somehow, I think, because on that. Okay. I can get that key. Now. I need to land on this girder. Okay. Now I'm up here and I think maybe I need to jump on top of those boxes? No. How do I... How do I get out of here? So there's a... You can hold down the button and keep firing and you can hold down the button and keep jumping. So that's... That's weird. Um... Can order from that link. Okay, cool. I'm curious, did you pick up Castlevania Adventure on Game Boy? Actually, I did. I got that when I was a kid. So I've had that for a while, and I beat it. I can't be sure that I beat it as a kid, but I actually beat it on the Switch. Um, the Switch Contra, uh, the Switch, Switch uh, Castlevania Collection uh, last year, and, um, and it was fine. So how's the game? I only know this game from the Path the NES Punk episode. I even own it, but I've never played Actually, I'm enjoying it, Mr. Matthews, except I'm stuck here. I don't know how to get past these these blocks. Using the pause trick? I'm just pausing, Ron. <laughs> is, there some other, uh, is there some other pause trick in here? I have good news, too. I ate curry chicken tonight. That's not good news unless you have enough to share. But congrats on that. Isn't every page paper book in Entlish? Every paper book in Entlish? It is good news. I wish I had curry chicken tonight. It doesn't have a super jump like Mario 2. Actually, I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll try that. That's a good question. I didn't look at the manual. Uh, and hold on. I'm going to try to bump up the size on my on my screen because I can't read it from this far away. That helps a little bit. Actually, I can read it, but that's going to help a little bit. Speaking of Castlevania, I just got Rondo of Blood and Symphony of the Night for free thanks to PS Plus, but they were only free for Asia customers for some reason. Huh. Well, congrats. I don't know if this is important. I don't know if Core is like texting to me. Um, hold on a second here. Hmm.
Sorry, guys. We're still trying to track down this paperwork. Sorry, just gotta respond. Okay, let me mute this. Sorry, guys. I probably should be helping her uh, look for this stuff, but I don't know. It could be anywhere. Um, so you haven't played Symphony of the Night, Comic Man? I still need to finish. I still need to finish Symphony of the Night. Mazin, I just ran out of time, and I thought I knew that this was a. Um, I thought that this was a bunch of mini games, and I figured I would have to learn the controls for each of them anyway. I can check the manual, I guess, and I will check my Twitter chum. Um, yeah, we're still looking, Richard. <laughs> this story is happy end. Yeah, I'm just really good at holding completely still. That's funny. <laughs> I was just, I was just, you know, texting. Um, yeah. Right, so let me see. Is there a super death? Ow. Well, there's a super death. Great. I might have to duck out for a minute and, and help her look for some stuff if, um, if an opportunity presents itself. Oh, oh. Far from a super jump, there's a super fall. Oh, hello. You're right. If you hold up, if you hold up, he can jump higher. So thank you for that, Mazin. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very helpful. Oh, looks like he can't quite make it. So I need to go over here, I think, and do it from here. I need to go up on the roof. There we go. Super jump indeed. Okay. Coming. What is this thing? These these enemies are kind of creepy. I don't I don't like them. The the weird little um, dummy things. Oh, okay. Where am I going? Oh, I'm just gonna drop down. Yeah, I have no idea where I'm going because there's like stuff here. Oh, there's a conveyor belt, of course. Of course, there's a conveyor belt. There's time, which I guess I also need. So the game has a time limit, which is kind of mean. Oh, nice. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna... Oh, now it's raining. That's unexpected. Oh, oh, crap. Okay, hold on. Oh, dear. Ow! Okay, that, that hurt. I thought that was maybe a power-up or something. Wow, do I even have enough time to... Okay, there we go. Oh, man. Okay, this is stressful. What is this? Give that to me. Give me my key. Oh dear, I'm almost out of time. Almost out of time. Yep, we're dead. Got another key. Time out. Oh man. Wow, so much for exploration. He can sit so completely still he becomes invisible. Kind of remember that from the SNES Drunk video. Super jump. <laughs> He's the ultimate stuntman after all. Um. Yeah, so Symphony of the Night, I've started two or three different times. I've never stuck with it, um, but I, that's actually on my list of things to play and or stream. I'm not sure if I should stream it. I don't know, because it's a lot of exploration, right? But I do want to play through it all. I used to hate the sim chip music, but I love it nowadays. It's it's so different from other music on the system, Mr. Matthews, that I, I actually really appreciate it. I wonder which stuntman is better, this guy or Jackie Chan? 
Well, Jackie Chan probably, right? Um, this time limit's rough. I agree, Sklets. Graphics are really dark in this game. Well, it's paused right now. Yeah, Jackie Chan's action kung fu. I love it. I need to play through the Turbo Graphics 16 version, but I don't like it as much as the NES one. Actually, it, it is dark when it's paused. I wonder if it's just dark because my of my streaming setup. I don't know. The streamer, the, the the picture on the on the screen does look darker than it does on my screen for some reason. Um, I think I meant to, to play around with the um, the color settings a little bit, but I just didn't get to that yet. I hope I'm not missing my keys someplace, because you like need to keep moving, but you kind of need to explore. They don't really reward exploring. We've got a time limit. Oops. guy kind of looks like Hank Hill a bit. <laughs> hey, you go. No, it looks it looks brighter on my CRT, but um, so one so one thing is when you split a signal with composite, it ends up kind of darkening darkening the picture a little bit for all of the different splits, I guess. Uh, it could just be the palette on my on my capture card. The colors look right, though. It just looks a little darker, so I don't know if I should mess with that, with that or not. Um, but it is kind of... I guess it is kind of dark, but I'm playing on a CRT, and it looks, looks okay to me. It just looks a little darker on the, um, on the stream for some reason. So it is just unlimited continues, I guess. Sorry, late. Hey, Victory Leo. Late run across one of my favorite MV channel. Hold on a second. I missed one. Definitely not perfect. Oh, it says it's perfect. Oh, an AMV channel. Are people. Is that anime music video? Are people still doing those? No, it is dark. Let me see if I can do something about that. Hold on. Hold on one second. <laughs> I'm going to blank my camera because um, I don't think you need to see me leaning right up there. Can I blank my camera? Yep. <clears throat> I'm still here. Um, just want to take a look at the capture settings here.
Okay. I think I fixed it. I had a color correction filter on there for some reason, and all it was doing was dimming the picture quality. So that should look better, I think. I think that looks closer to what I'm seeing on my CRT. So I think that fixed it. Thank you for um, thank you for bringing that to my attention, Mr. Matthews. Yeah, go for it, Victory Leo. Um, yeah, and the car scene does remind me of Vice Project Doom as well. Cool. Well, anyway, I think we fixed it. Let me see if it looks better. Yeah, it looks brighter now, yeah? Cool. As long as the colors look okay to me. Um, whoops. Oh, I keep doing that. So I have kind of a funky uh, streaming setup right now because um, the retro tank, or the capture cards that I normally use, the retro tank doesn't like them. So I have this running through a $15 USB capture device, um, which actually is approved for the retro tank 2x mini. Um, and then the Mister. Um, has problems with um, different capture cards too, so I think it only works with my Avermedia LGP, not my um, not my Hopog one. So I've got everything set up on that capture card instead. Everything's all weird over here. Much brighter. Just assumed it was a dark game, BTA style. Time, hurry, yep. Yeah, thanks. I know. Um, yeah, so thank you for ca catching that, uh, that little issue there. Appreciate it. It's okay, I'm dead anyway. Hey, GMC. <laughs> I would... I play unlicensed games all the time. This one's actually my cartridge that I own. So there's that. Imagine they add, uh, imagine they added unlicensed games to the uh, to the Switch Online. My time is continuing to run out. I am in big trouble here. Okay. Yeah, blind jumps, not fun, not fun. Oh, the clock stopped, though, so that's good. Oh, we made it. Oh, boy. Okay. Stage 1-3. What the heck is happening here now? Okay. Okay. Hey, Phil Twerpin. Very nice to see you. Climb up that wall. Okay, we're climbing up the wall. Um, I'm dodging things. Oh, and dying. Okay. Huh. How do I move this? Okay, I can move this around like that. Okay. Oh, this is this is exciting. Ow. Okay. Wow. This is this is really interesting. This game has so many so many facets to it.
Uh-oh. Oh, it's raining again. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, no! Wow, game over. This game is speedrun or die. Really? I, have to, I think I have to continue from one at the beginning of one again. Yeah. Okay, if I ever get to two... I don't even know how many levels this game has. I am enjoying it, though. I think it's pretty, pretty surprisingly fun. So if you, if you hit jump when you're on one of those ramps, if you hit A when you're on one of those ramps, I think you actually do jump. How do you switch between controlling the guy and controlling the crosshairs? If you hold down the A button, he doesn't move, but you can use the D-pad to control the, uh, the crosshairs. Um, it's kind of a similar mechanic, or I guess uh, Rise of Amandus, uh, NES homebrew game, um, uses a similar mechanic. Free Castlevania on my Xbox. Oh yeah, I picked that one up a while ago. The multiplayer one. This is pretty fun, Phil. You should. I think you'd enjoy it. Check it out. <clears throat> Who doesn't like top-down drivers? Yeah, the building levels kind of got some variety too, so I need to I need to rush through here. Um, now that I have a better idea at least of where I'm going, hopefully I can keep avoiding the same things that keep killing me. Because it's just my own stupidity that's causing me to die there. This is definitely a game where you need to kind of memorize. You die a lot, and then you memorize where you're supposed to go and what you're supposed to be doing. I have no idea what those little spark spark things do. Super jump. I would still be trying to get over that wall if, if Mazen had said something about it. Ouch. Oh, nuts. Okay. wall again. Hold on. Do you think the game wants us to think that every other car on that road happens to be bad guys? Or are you just massacring cars full of innocent families? Yeah. Probably that. I love this game. Techno Cop has like driving and side-scrolling. Personal favorite for my rental memory. Man, I always want to play this game. I think it's on Super NES and I'm sure it's terrible, but Super NES had all these these uh, games based on IP that I liked, and like Mighty Max, supposedly a bad game, um, but this game called Time Tracks or the show called Time Tracks. I almost want to try that game, but I hear it's it's pretty bad. Probably the enemies in this game are clearly the enemies of freedom. Oh, hey, uh, by the way, hi OCJ G Oak City, how are you doing? I do have all my lives. Let's. That was a clean one too. Yeah, we're learning. All right, we'll see how we do here. So I have like oh, okay, you can fire continuously while you're and you have to hold down A or you move. Okay. 
actually holding down A or B is the same, so you can, you can move it if you press either one. Oh, I fell anyway. How did that happen? Okay, we're gonna move. Oh my gosh! Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Oh, please let me continue from here. Yes. Oh no, there's not much real estate here. Oh crap, okay. Oh dear. Yes, Darian Lambert, Time Tracks. Hold on. He had a car alarm remote that shot future bullets, a credit card gun. Dale Midkiff, yeah. The weirdly hot Edwardian hologram secretary sidekick. Yeah. Just did a release OCG? Cool. Die Hard 6, Die Harder. <laughs> that rat takes two bars of health. Must be a New York City rat. Yeah. Gotta sleep. Uh, thank you so much for coming by. I, 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 no, I always appreciate you, you stopping by. Get some rest. Thank you. Good to see you, even briefly. Um. Pretty, uh, pretty good amount of variety in this game, and you, normally a game like this, I think all of the you know you'd run the risk that the mini games would some of them would just not be be not good, like just you know some of them won't work and some of them won't. And overall, I think that each of they've all been pretty functional. Scales a little bit, a little bit off on this game. But... May your pillow be optimal temperature. <laughs> that's a really good, it's uh, a really good blessing. I, I saw a kid, um, one of those kid quote, you know, quotes attributed to a kid, like things that kids say, saying, "Oh no, it was a curse. It was like may, may." Your pillow always be warm, or something like that, or yeah. Um, yeah. My one concern, my my one concern with uh, streaming here is that I'm very close to my son's room, and so I don't know if it's going to be too loud for him or not. You know, I I don't tend to get too rowdy in these streams, but you know, there've been occasions where. Had to raise my voice a little bit. Right. Sounds like maybe my wife is going to bed, in which case I'm not sure if she still needs me to look for this documentation or not. I might just be out of luck. It's kind of hard finding stuff. I need to get my driver's license changed. And I had to hunt. I still have to find my uh, birth certificate. I don't know where that one I found my social security card though, so that was nice. I also need to get my, um, my passport renewed at some point. It expired at the beginning of the pandemic. And, uh, you know, 
it's clearly you're not going to be able to get get anything renewed you know, during all that. So that's my excuse anyway. I think I also just kind of forgot that uh, I needed to do that. Yikes! Hmm, it is really nice to be streaming, guys, and, uh, you know, I, I kind of feel like the last couple of NES Alpha Numeric streams I did, I did them because I didn't want to not do them, if this, that makes sense. Like, I, I have tried really hard to, to make sure that I always stream my NES games once a week, like, that's, that's been the whole point of them, to make sure that I do it, and so I felt the pressure to kind of keep it going. Okay, that thing knocked me off the side there. So I sort of felt like I did them almost out of an obligation. And uh, this week I really wanted to do it. Um, and probably rested well enough. Ow. Okay, problems. Is that dynamite? the scrolling backgrounds. Like, they've, they've done a pretty good job of this. I'm not sure what was in that blue balloon. It's gonna start raining soon. Exactly the same thing every time. Am I supposed to duck there? What am I? Okay, maybe I duck. Okay, that didn't work. Ooh, that was very close. be able to continue from two now. I also use the pandemic excuse for quitting off passport renewal. <laughs> okay, hold on. Bomb disposal. Diffuse the bomb by desoldering the microchips. What? Obligation stream is a thing, sir. Back when I ran D&D as a kitchen manager, I had to force myself to be peppy after a 13-hour day because I didn't want to uh, kill enthusiasm. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. What am I doing? Oh no. gonna blow up. Oh, okay, you have until it blows up. Oh my god. What? Is that 1-4? So if I continue, I'm back here again. Oh my gosh. I thought for sure I was onto a new stage.
No, my license didn't expire. My passport expired. My license needs to be transferred. It's a bureaucratic nightmare. Yeah. So close. Finally level two. Nope. Slam a book on this counter. Yell, do you know who I am? So I've I've tried going to... Um, sometimes I, you can go to bookstores and, and you know, offer to sign, sign their stock. And I went to Barnes & Noble. And they were like, do you have ID? And like to prove that that I wrote the, um, to, that I wrote the book. And I was like, I'm on the jacket, like my picture's on there. They were kidding, but, but that was still, it was still kind of funny. How dare they bring math into this to make them all disappear. Okay. If I click on them, the number of times it says, I can't do save states on this, Richard. I, I'm playing on the actual cartridge. I could switch to the EverDrive, but I mean, I'm not going to do that necessarily. Just like, probably, I I kind of want to play this. I was gonna, I was kind of psyched to play this for a couple hours tonight, but I think I should probably go help me for this uh, paperwork. So I may just have to come back to this, but I'm I'm enjoying this game. This will probably will be the last one. When is the clock? Oops! Wow! I drowned. Okay, hold on a second. What time is it? it's 11:05. So next week's game is going to be uh, probably not good. Uh, next week we are playing the Uncanny X-Men, <laughs> which I think is pretty notoriously bad. Uh, it's an LJN game that nobody likes. Ooh, ouch. Okay. <laughs> Try to pull a stealth signing. Uh, I think a true stealth signing is like what Brandon Sanderson does, and he just signs things and doesn't say anything to anybody, right? This is your favorite. You've watched me play since Totally Rad. Um, it's neat. I like it. I, um, it's kind of fun not knowing what's coming, right? What's What's next? It's a surprise. I was not expecting that weird bomb diffusing thing. Cora would be really good at that, that thing. Reminds me a little bit too much of those um, Pipe Dreams uh, hacking sections of uh, Bioshock, which we would like to get back to at some point. Things are health. Okay, just some spark things. say this is better than some some uh, licensed NES games. Not that that's 
You know, shocking or anything. So I can't climb on these blue sections. I can't do that. I can't climb above uh, those uh, open windows, though. this bomb thing again. Even as an LJN lover, I hate Uncanny X-Men. Alright, so we've got to decide our things here. how desoldering works. Whew. Ultimate stuntman, the base has been destroyed. Prepare for the next level. Alright, well if we're going to two, we're gonna have to play a little longer. This man by my mad math skills climbed 200 feet up this building. <laughs> Thanks, comic man. Finally, the next level. Thanks, Sklets. Android 2, Mega Slug. Alright, this this game, I'm digging this game. Oh, okay, what's this? I'm flying a ship. Okay, some sort of almost Zaxxon esque. What is. What? Okay, this is really weird. I dead. Alright, we're gonna continue. Alright, thank goodness. Alright, so this is basically like that driving stage, but now we're flying. Gonna be a slug fest. We're into that deep lore dump, right? I'm not sure about the necessity of steering up and down like this. So if I hit up and down, he moves up and down. Um, A does nothing. As far as I can tell. I can only hit these on certain levels, it looks like. So I need to fly up over the water, I guess. It looks like I'm flying a freaking paper airplane. I'm killing those guys from Air Fortress, it looks like. I'm not really sure that I'm playing this right. Oh, okay. What are those things? Those are pizza boxes. Oh, dead. Okay. I'm on a hang glider. I must be playing as an Ewok right now. Is it letting me continue from from later in the stage? Is this game showing me mercy? Okay, I just hit a cliff. Presumably I can fly through that. If I were a little higher, perhaps? If this is a 70s action movie, they are just filming models as you hang glide. Alright, let's try this again. This game has also kind of got a strange, like, letterboxing at the bottom of the screen. It's not badly cropped, it's just... It's just how the game is playing for some reason. Is 
so I should be able to go under this. It's like a surfing stage. I should be surfing or something. Like I have no no idea of where these guys are. I'm guessing they are over oh here. sure how those how the stages laid out. How to avoid some of these hazards. So those shoot missile okay, those are that's presumably why I can't fly over them because they mess me up with their missiles. A random layout each time it turned oh that's what's going on oh boy this music totally sounds like it should be in a ninja turtles game you're right mr matthews that's why i was thinking about like the weird surfing thing or hero turtles it sounds like c64 music is this a oh now it's a side scrolling thing oh man what oh and i can shoot bombs okay this game just has has so many surprises to it now this is like Controls like scramble. I'm not expecting. Can I fly through that? No, nope, I'm gonna go up here. Oh, this is totally scramble. with this game. Guys, this game is surprisingly good. 
I actually recommend you check it out if you're enjoying what you're seeing here. No! Oh. Game over. I have to try it again. Um, definitely hear C64 music. The level design in this game is something else. Guys, I have a plan. Let's steal every video game and put it into one. Some guy at the pirate game company. <laughs> SNES Trunks did the same thing. This game is super ambitious, but didn't really do any of the things right. I think it's been pretty fun. That bomb defusing thing took me a minute. Side note, the movie you did the stunts for would be a great picture. I mean, this is probably better than the last action hero, right? On NES. Which I'm also kind of curious about. I want to keep playing this, but uh, let's call this the last one because I need to I need to go look for stuff. Oh, I can check to see if Cora texted me and see if she needs my help. Okay. So I think I just need to open up some boxes and see what's inside of them. Oh, the A button slows things down. Interesting. That actually could be useful in some situations. Like here, if I want to get this one up, I slow down for a second there. That's pretty good. And I'm dead. Glad I grabbed that one up anyway. Hey, go to 10. Remember when Bond movies were fun? Has anybody seen the new one? Uh-oh. Oof. Huh. I'm not sure how I did that, but okay. I would like to see the new one, but... I'm still kind of avoiding theaters right now. Even though I'm vaccinated. I just don't really want to sit in a movie theater with a bunch of strangers right now. Probably won't be too long before it's on VOD, right? Oh dear. This is definitely easier when I had the, the spread shot. Man, I wonder how many stages this game has. Each of these stages seems to have like four areas. And how many different things can they do in the game? Like, how much variety can there be? Good thing about movies now is that. Uh, people agree with you. So if you go to the movies, you'll probably be one of the few in the theater. That's true. That's true. My friend went to see um, Shang-Chi, which um, I wanted to see. And um, he was, I think, one of the few people in the theater. So I probably should have done it. Should have done it. Now that Mr. Matthew said it, this really sounds like a Ninja Turtles stage. Ugh. Mm, game over. So we're trying to see that new Mortal Kombat. Ooh. Mm, I wouldn't say that was very good. I don't think I would be on board with the movie theater yet in Cena Canada. 
All right, hold on. Let me let me check my text messages. See if there's any sort of an update here. Hmm. Ask her if she needs me to help look. There were some aspects of the Mortal Kombat that were okay, but overall, it was a, it was a great. Game. I think grabbing that weapon power-up is important. Yeah, I think the only reason I saw that World Cup was because it was on um, HBO Max, and we were watching it with a bunch of friends online. The special effects were good. So that was cool. I would be surprised if the manual actually covers all these different stages and tells you, like, how the controls work. Because they seem very specific to each, each stage. Be any worse than Annihilation. Plus the fight scenes that look pretty cool, so that's all I'm really waiting to see. Yeah, you'll enjoy it for that, I think. Oh, Free Guy. I kind of want to see Free Guy. Louis Tan is far better than any of the movies he's been in. <laughs> actually only have like a couple of different music tracks. shooting for a second so I could see where the spikes were because it was they were flickering out of the view. Now I am a 
little bit less powerful. Oops, I missed that power up over there. Okay. It's like the Fezanity World Tree or something. Oh, of course there are birds. NES birds. So they do recycle some of the uh, some of the gameplay a little bit here, which you know, you'd expect. I saw in theater after almost two years with Disney Jungle Cruise, which I really enjoyed. Yeah. Popcorn still gives me a PTSD from my first job. Yeah. This music is. Hey, Ron Jones. Yeah, this music is pretty cool. Your core has not responded. I don't know if I. Um, We'll make one more, one more run. I am enjoying this game. So yeah, next week is the Uncanny X-Men, and then the following week, which is Halloween week, I will be playing The Uninvited, um, which is just the, the timing worked out pretty well. Although, hopefully, I guess I'll have to un unpack my game fight then because that one's still in the box. Oof. Alright, not doing great. X-Men, wee! This new Jungle Cruise was so close to Pirates of the Caribbean, I don't know why they even bothered. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch it probably. It's on Disney Plus, I guess. Yeah, I'm kidding, X Men. We'll see. Cora might be interested in watching me play that one. She really likes X Men. Okay, 
I'm, I'm not even doing great here. That's okay. This, this goes on my very long short list of games to come back to from my NES Alpha Numeric streams. Definitely looking forward to coming back to this. Somehow I missed that timer. Pretty good. Sounds pretty good. Plays well enough. It's not to like here. Except for that. Alright, that's it. Okay, I'm not gonna keep going. I would like to keep playing, but I'm gonna go look for our mystery documents that are lost. Um, but thank you all for hanging out. This was super fun. Um, I hope you have a good rest of the week. I don't think I will be streaming again until Monday, but I'll be back for Battle Kid 2. And um, okay. if I can fit another stream in over the weekend, I will, but I, I need to get some writing done. So probably not. Richard says it's rare for me not to finish a movie. I like a turbo movie if it's worth mocking and chatting about, like rubber. Now, a boring movie is the worst. I think the only game I, the only movie I, very rarely do I not finish watching a movie as well. I think one of them was Waking Life. I couldn't, I couldn't get into that film at all. It was way too boring. Um, good luck on the treasure hunt. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Comic Man. Good stream. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Phil Twerpin. Uh, yeah, it looks like there's like a buggy level. So it looks like there's very similar types of levels with like some some reskinning, I guess. Um, but I need to look up some information on this game because I'm kind of kind of intrigued. He looks a little bit like Crease from. Uh, Cobra Kai and the Party Kid movies. Um, yeah, I'd like to keep playing, but uh, I'm gonna head out. Thank you all again. Good to see you all, and uh, and take care. Okay, bye bye. Buggin'. <laughs>